Hello everyone, Tim here at Tech Muscle. Today I would like to talk about working out on cannabis and uh, using it after uh, post-workout. Uh, before I go any further, I'd just like to say I'm not a doctor. Uh, this is not medical advice. Uh, I, I, this is just for education and entertainment purposes only. So here we go without further ado. And please pardon me, I'm very tired here. <laughs> but without further ado, we're going to go into cannabis and Matter of fact, I have been smoking some today, too, and I'm tired. probably doesn't help. <laughs> but, um, okay, so do I smoke it before workout? Sometimes, but optimally, no. And most of the time, no. I would say no. I don't prefer it. Everything has to come together just right. It has to be the right kind of weed, like some good sativa. I have to feel just right. My mood's right. My body chemistry's right. It's just one of those good days to lift before I can really have a good workout if I've smoked some cannabis. Uh... So, but for the most part, it kind of sedates me. I don't want to do as much. I have to push myself to do more in the gym, and I don't particularly like it. And I, that's just being honest. I don't like cannabis pre-workout. Um, now, post-workout, yes, I absolutely love cannabis. Uh, uh, it's kind of a funny thought there. Uh, I would come home during the school year from the gym, and I would need to sit down and do schoolwork. Well, I would go work out for an hour and a half on PEDs, and then I'm going to come down and sit in a chair and read and type in front of a computer? Yeah, right. <laughs> After an hour and a half workout, especially if you're on PEDs, you're wound up. It takes some time before you can just sit down and sit still. You just can't sit down and sit still. Yeah, right. Good luck. Not for very long. And not concentrate and be mentally sharp, you know. You got to you know, you gotta let your body re recoup a little bit, get home, get something to eat. And it takes me about an hour before I can sit down and do schoolwork. Um, and now if I smoke a little bit of weed, I can, it's, you know, 20 minutes to 30 minutes before I can do, you know, it, it, it calms me down pretty quick. My whole body just, uh, throttle, throttles down. It throttles down a good bit when I smoke some weed post-workout and I like it. Uh, I do like it for the DOMS, the delayed onset muscle soreness, uh, it does help with that, especially the edibles because they hit you in the body a little bit more. Be careful with edibles because they can be really super strong. If you don't feel anything, wait at least two hours before you eat anymore. Trust me from experience. <laughs> You'll wind up laying on the bed. I've, I've eaten so much weed that I've had to literally put my hand on the floor because the room was spinning. Enough edibles will do that to you. Trust me. It's, and it's not a pleasant feeling. It's just as bad as being too drunk. It really is. Uh, you can't even sit up, stand up. The room's spinning. I don't know. It's just an awful feeling. But... uh Anyways, and that was a lot, a lot of edibles that I had eaten by accident. I did not realize that they were made with a concentrate and they were that strong. Anyways, <laughs> that was another day. Uh, and no, I didn't work out that day. <laughs> um, but post-workout, yeah, and for that, and like I said, a little edibles here and there to help with your DOMS, to relax. I don't see anything wrong with it. Uh, I do believe edibles are uh, somewhat anti-inflammatory to the liver. So believe it or not, they're actually beneficial to the liver. Would I run them for liver support? No. <laughs> have I eaten uh, edibles on cycle? Yes, I have. Uh, on oral cycle, no problem. Uh, no issues with it. Um, as a matter of fact, it's supposed to be a little beneficial for the inflammation in your, in your liver. Uh, so, But still take your liver support, of course. Um, so there's that, pretty much. Um, I don't recommend it pre-workout, or I wouldn't recommend it. I'm not really, like I said, giving out recommendations, but I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, pre-workout and uh, I would recommend it uh, well if it's for you if it's for you I would recommend it post-workout to help you calm down it can help you sleep at night but it kind of can do weird things to your sleep pattern also especially after after prolonged use you know if you use it once in a while you're probably not going to notice that if you start using it daily uh, or so or you know like me when I smoke it it's a hundred percent from day, from morning until night, I'll get up, I'll say my prayer, read my Bible, <coughs> get some green tea, <coughs> maybe do a thing or two, and then I'll smoke some weed. It's pretty much that. I tell a little green tea in there to get me woke up a little, smoke a little bit of weed, but I can't smoke too much because too much, too much is just too much. You know, it's, it, cannabis is very, very dose dependent, and unfortunately, it's not really, other than the edibles, uh, it's not really dosed, you know what I mean? I, you, yeah, you can get it by the strength, but it's not like take three hits of 27%. By the way, three hits of 27% and you're probably stoned. <laughs> 
But uh, you can kind of gauge it after a while, after you've done it for a while. But it's one of those things, if, if you can do, if you can get away with not doing cannabis throughout your life and you don't feel like that you need it, don't do it. Don't do it, okay? That is my advice, okay? Uh, if you don't feel like you don't need it, don't do it. And that, that goes really for anything. You know, don't do something just because it's a trend. Don't jump on semaglutide just because it's a trend, okay? If, if you're really, if you've already uh, exerted every other possible thing, you, you know, your diet, your da-da-da-da-da-da-da, start with your diet, it's all in the diet. Semaglutide won't even help you if you don't diet. It's just supposed to make you naturally diet, but from my experience, it didn't even work as good as all the hype. It takes a very long time, but anyways, that, that could be a whole other video. So, uh, anyways, cannabis, yeah, oh, and it can help eat your, it can help your appetite. Like, if you're bulking and you're trying to eat, um, and, you know, and you can handle the, like, the mental uh, of weed, I won't even say side effects, you know, sometimes there's not even side effects, but it can, it's, uh, it's very, it's very effect, it's, it's effective on the brain, it's somewhat of a nootropic, and it will change your brain a little bit, so, uh, you know, I would say, you know, sometimes it's very positive, sometimes it's like uh, it's like negative side effects, kind of nothing crazy, but uh, you know if if you know and you smoke it for a while, and you'll learn pretty quick whether you can handle it or not. Um, like I said, a lot of that's dose dependent too. But uh, I, I I really don't like it for workouts because smoking it, and I said before, but I mean while I'm working out in general, smoking it uh, can decrease your uh, oxygen uptake too so think about that so while it does have its benefits in certain places in bodybuilding or exercise um there's a lot of places where it's it's just no good it's really not like i i when i learn schoolwork i i don't smoke a bunch of weed before i learn schoolwork i won't i won't learn anything i might learn a couple things i'll end up on another page looking at something else catching myself distracted like five times forget what i'm doing Find myself that I'm halfway through a paragraph and now I'm daydreaming about something else and go, wait a minute, I need to get back, you know. It's just, it's not real good for mental focus. It's actually, it's really not. It's a good relaxant. Um, it's good for a little bits of pain and things like that to help you sleep, to help you eat. Uh, I would not recommend it long term for sleep purposes because it can mess with your natural sleep patterns. It does. Uh, long term use. Uh, and yes, it does make you tired. And, but if you can't go to sleep one particular night and you smoke some weed after a while, you'll probably go to sleep. So any, it, it does have that, you know, especially at first, at first it does, it makes you really tired and sleepy. So, but all right, I, I got to get going, uh, without further ado, this is, this is the, uh, exercise and cannabis edition here, I suppose at tech muscle. So stay smart, stay swole and, uh, you know, use your, use your, chemical enhancement wisely okay like i said not because of the trend not because i heard somebody else did that that, that works for you great if it doesn't it doesn't make sure you learn about all the side effects that can come with a compound whatever it is you're using and mitigate those side effects all right have a great day oh and uh if if at all possible have doctor's guidance that's the way to do it all right have a great day stay smart stay swole this is tim hertzak muzzle all right